The word test is one that speaks of validation. Its root was used concerning proving or testing of coins in order to confirm whether they were genuine or not. Okay, do you remember the test on the old uh, uh, quarters when they went from one to another? Uh, you would scrape the edge and you'd know that, it, because if uh, 1964, I think it was, they went from being all silver to, you know, now they're filled with something else, okay? Yeah, 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 sandwich coins. You got me hungry, don't do that again. Um, okay, so, um, uh, and you could test a quarter by rubbing on it and you would know if somebody was, and that's the way that they used to do that. You'll see a lot of old coins are oblong because people would test to make sure they weren't getting a, a fake coin or something. But um, if you want to test the old quarter very simply, it's really easy to do. Just do that when it lands on the ground, you'll know it's all silver. It makes a completely different sound, a beautiful ting. So anyway, there aren't many of them left. Most of them have been, you know, uh, scarfed up. But once in a while, you'll come across an old quarter and you'll say, it just doesn't look the same. There's something different about this. And just flick it up in the air, and when it lands, you'll say, that's silver. Okay, um, so uh, let's see here. Where was I? It speaks of validation, okay? The testing of coins in order to confirm whether they were genuine or not. There's a real currency of the land, and there, then there's that which is counterfeit, okay? Unless one was careful, that person could easily be duped into believing that he possessed something of value when instead he possessed only a fake which had no value at all. Okay, so uh, let me make a note here. I wanna change something right here and here. And um, I hate when I do that. You're typing something and you say he, and then you say they in the same sentence, okay? And you're, when you're typing, you're always thinking a little ahead. And so now you've got a discord in the sentence. It should be he and then one, or he and then not he and they. So, so I the always try to correct. The what? The pronoun thing. The pronoun thing has got me. It's it's really upset me too. Anyway, so um, you have um, uh, what is fake and what was the thing that you you said it a couple times about counterfeit? How do you? Oh, if you know what the original is, you you'll you'll you're. You don't need to you know. Don't need to know what ten thousand counterfeit counterfeits. Is. No, you, you just need to know the original. The original. In fact, I, I forget who said that. Somebody said it right here in Bible. Study. Yes, but they were citing a, a Secret Service person who said when they when they are looking for counterfeits, they don't need to know what counterfeits look like. They need to know what the original looks like, and then from there you can determine the counterfeit. Okay, and that is what we do with the Bible. We don't need to know all the nonsense that's out there. If we know this, then we will be able to discern that. What is incorrect? That's what we need to do, is to know the original well enough so that when we hear something, we can say that, and you were mentioning that earlier, you know, you can begin to tell the difference in translations and you can start to think and process differently because you're involving yourself in the Word of God more and more. And so if you know what the original, you know, the, the Koreans, the North Koreans, are really good forgers. They forged billions and billions of US dollars, okay? But you can still tell that they're false, all right? But a lot of people can't because they don't know the original, all right? So um, uh, you just have to do that. And if you know what the original looks like, when you see a wrong one, you will at least have a suspicion. And then you can work out your suspicion from there, okay? I think so Loretta said that. What's that? Yeah. Loretta it could have been that. Loretta. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. She's got a lot of wisdom in that head. She's a nice lady. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, Paul's admonition here is that we are to test the fire of the Spirit and we are to test prophecies. Is this the true Spirit of God or is it a corrupt counterfeit? Is this a true prophetic utterance or is it a lie from the devil? Okay, and you should be able to know the original well enough to know the false. 